In this lecture, I am going to discuss how to calculate the cutting length of a triangular stirrup. As you can clearly visualize from this picture, a triangular stirrup consists of four bends of 135 degree each along with two hooks inclined at the same angle. For illustration, let's quote an example in this regard. Suppose we need to calculate the cutting length of a triangular stirrup for a beam of width 300 mm and depth of 600 mm. The diameter of the stirrups is given as 8 mm with a clear cover of 25 mm. To calculate the cutting length, we have the formula 2h plus a plus twice hook length minus 4 times 135 degree bends. h is the adjacent side of this triangle which is calculated by considering this right angle triangle in which h will be equal to under root x square plus y square where x is equal to half of this base a which will be equal to a by 2 and y is equal to b. The value of a will be equal to width of beam minus twice clear cover minus dia bar. Width of beam is already given as 300 mm, clear cover is 25 mm and dia bar is 8 mm. On substituting these values, the value of a will be equal to 242 mm. Similarly, b will be equal to depth of beam minus twice clear cover minus dia bar. On substituting these values, B will be equal to 542 mm. Since we are using 135 degree hooks, so the hook length will be equal to 10 D, where D is the dia of the bar. And bend deduction will be equal to 3 times D for 135 degree bends. Again, X will be equal to A by 2, which is 121 mm. And Y equal to B, which is already calculated as 542 mm. By substituting the values of x and y, h will be equal to 555 mm. Finally, putting all the calculated values in equation first, the cutting length of this stirrup will be equal to 1416 mm or simply 1.42 meter. So this was all about this lecture. If you like my content and want to read more about it, you can check out my compiled PDFs from store.civiltutorofficial.com or I will be providing the link in the description box of this video. Thank you.